apologies. So I'm going to start off with the trades I took today um, and then do the future setups. So today I shorted the Euro USD, I mean dollar CAD. Um, I was watching this here. Okay, I was watching this here, this breaker. Okay, so why this breakup? Well, yesterday I pointed out that because I thought there was a possible high in, that I wanted to sell a retracement into this order block here. Now we didn't get no weakness off of there. This is why I wait, I don't sell blind. I always gotta wait. So within that, I said, okay, how far can it go? So it came within here, which is the uh, breaker here that led to the highs yesterday. So I thought, said, okay, made a high there, run, came down, but it didn't reach that. So I thought, one more run high, take out the stops, then drop. So as soon as it went up there, I shorted it, and it was a tight stop loss, just into there, okay? Uh, my entry was around here, actually. Uh, I sent through my 8 pip stop loss, and I had a 50% drawn out. I said, this is as far as I'm willing to go, okay? So it came back once more, and it was sort of rejection. I thought, okay, maybe, and then it started to turn, and then it just popped. And before I could get out, it um, stopped me out, okay? It was the last year is what it is so obviously it's gone higher um now this is not a trade that i could have just switched my bias i mean hindsight looking at it yeah but i was not comfortable going long this market it was just one of those ones okay so yes i'm looking back at it i go yeah well you should have just bought it when this broke uh, the breaker fell failed but at this point i was looking at the euro so i didn't have my focus on the dollar cad but it doesn't matter now what's it doing it's come up i'm still bearish this market okay I'm still bearish. It's this on the daily. It's just a retracement. Now, it's come up to where this, these up candles here. So, that that these up candles here went up, found resistance there, sold off. It's come back into that now. It's filled in this void in. It's come back into that now. This could be a possible top for a drop for the rest of the week. So, what I'm looking for, I'm still short this market. There's no reason for me to be long this. I've given my higher time frame um, reasoning on the weekend market review, so I will not repeat that. But I think the high is probably in place now. So going into London, obviously I'm going to be looking for weakness. Um, so breakdown, obviously. Um, and I'm going to be targeting this low here. If it goes above this high, then most likely I'm wrong. Okay? That's my dollar cut. Um, and I personally think we're going to go for target-wise this low here. Take out this. And then f further downside, fill this void in. Okay? That's what I'm uh, expecting. Uh, now, then later on, I took the euro long. So, why did I take the euro long? Well, we are still within this H4, this down candles here. Let me we're still within that. So, what happened was I was trying to look for a long during London and I didn't get it. Um, I During Asia, I had marked out this um, pivot here. Let me find it. It was. Um, let me just quickly mark it. And I'm going to show you how you could have switched by. So, I just was at awake in time, I'll be honest with you. Because I was up during Asia. Um, where is it got now? See this here, I marked out from yesterday. If you look back on my Twitter charts, I had this marked out. Now, why this? Okay, well, if you look here, it led to the sell off here. Then found resistance there. Then broke above, found support in there. Support, support. As soon as it broke, I should, if I was up, I would have. Switched my bias and said, okay, this is most likely going to go down now because it's broken the pivot. Can you see why this is acting as a pivot? It led to the sell-off there. Resistance there. Broke through it. Support, support, support. You can see why. So it's just, it's just a support resistance basically zoned out. So as soon as it broke, I should have, uh, this would have been a short there and probably targeting these lows. At least this got filled. It's hindsight, but it is what it is, okay? So... The reason why I longed it was, there's a number of reasons now, Confluence, okay, we can use FIBS and you can use um, the key high time frame level. So, like I mentioned, this grey box, why this high time frame level. Now, we're below this low here. Now, assuming you're bullish, this could just be a stop rate. So, often you'll find if you use FIBS, 161.8 will often act as a reversal or at least some sort of profit taking. So, we add the 161.8 as well. So, how many Confluences do you have? We have the higher time frame level. <clears throat> we have uh, the FIB confluence. Also, switching back to the dollar quickly here. At, the, at this time, the dollar was taken at this high here. 
and rejecting okay we took out this high here and rejecting and the dollar for me is still into weekly resistance okay going back to the euro now this was when I was using the one minute chart so I posted this anyway so we came down with a low then a high then a higher low then we had a rally up now this could have been seen as a breaking market structure why because we were in a higher time frame level okay then I pointed out this this was the down move literally move up found support this is where I bought here now if this had broken what would this have been used for this could have been used for a reversal okay so at this point this is where I would have been comfortable to switch my bias if this had broken because they were buying here I would have seen that as a selling opportunity and played it lower okay so it rallied up confirmed it was, and you can see it's making higher highs and higher lows <coughs> so when you broke these highs here obviously I I did say I trimmed some off here because we were at what this daily low here previous days low so it's a natural area of resistance so going back to the chart it came down and then it pushed up higher again then it came down again to where if you look see the down candles that are to move up at this point they didn't come into it but at this point they did so as soon as it did that I saw this as a stop rate opportunity I went long again and the same stop loss and then I just exited it um, around here okay so going forward I'm still bullish this market and I'm I pointed out look at the range we're in now from this low to this high we're trading within that range this is the weekly open now you could say well I'm gonna wait for the weekly open price to get above the weekly open before I get long because if you get above the weekly open we're still in the middle of the week and then we will be in the body phase and we've still got good reason to go long it's not as if it's a Friday or anything so I'm still bu uh, bullish this now how what will change my mind is if we take out this low here then I'm probably going to be wrong and I'm going to look to short it then, okay and I'll probably short it to 1.1530s and lower so how do I get on board this <coughs> well the way it's standing right now I'll let me just get rid of this mess so it's clear clear how I'll get on board this market is everyone with me so far okay so if you can see if you're on the 15 minute chart this bearish uh, bullish black skin respected here so I'm going to be looking for if we can get a drop into here right that would mean what take out these lows give me some bullish price section of here I'll get long okay if not then I'll have to wait for London and see how Asia plans out but ideally my validation big term would be the break of this low okay so they could push up in Asia if that's the case then I'll have to wait for something to get on board you know, um, London and I'll post that chart for that anyway but I, I do believe I mean look at these stops here easy pickings uh, I think we're gonna push up into here at least and then the top of the range okay because if you think about it right if we take out one side of the range and come back within it what does that mean what does that usually mean it means you know most likely at least come back within the range now if you look these two down candles four hour candles let it move down so you can say well I'm gonna wait okay until so if the, if, if it's re true buying happening then we should see a, a rally up or an impulse move up which would suggest these are now order blocks okay then we get in on a retest of here which is in confluence with what the weekly open and this would now be you know buying opportunity and then I'll take it long okay so that would be my play and then targets and then targets and then okay is everyone clear with that <coughs> so this would, could just be a range play could just be a day trade range play now cable you know what cable's been one play that I haven't been really clear on okay so um, as you can see cables come down I said from the weekend as long as this holds and it's held I haven't really paid attention to it but personally I think we can reach up to there that's only 20 not 30 pips it's gonna fill in the rest of this gap in so I'm not really clear on, I'm still not clear on cable okay so I'm gonna, not gonna talk about that but what I like is Kiwi okay Kiwi I spoke about this if we break this and stay below this then I'll be looking for shorts but what did we do we came down into what so let me just make this a bit clearer we came down into this support rallied away back down again into the took out these stops here right and then rallied away what did we do breaking market structure I still believe I'm still going for 0 0.7 level 
So as long as I'm probably gonna take this tune from Asia, as long as we're above this low here, because this low came down to take out these stops, then rallied away to take out these highs. So that I see as a break in market structure, okay? And then a retracement, fill in the void, back into where the move started. So I personally believe um, it's a long, okay? If you're happy with the risk reward, stop loss there. Why the stop loss? Unless you're gonna wait for lower time frame PA, which I will wait for during Asia. Not now, Asia, one and a half hours from now. And I'll be targeting 0 0.7. That's my favorite play going forward. It's just technically, it's the clearest to me. Now, if we were to break this, then I would be looking for what? <coughs> so this would now become a pivot, switch bias. So support here, okay, you can see, but if it breaks it, I'll wait for a remove break below here, then a retest, okay? Then I'll be looking for what? At least this void to get filled in here, into here, and then further targets would be these lows and then these lows, okay? Is everyone clear with that? That is if it breaks this low, but as it stands, I'm looking for 0 0.7 as a target. Everyone clear? We'll take questions at the end, okay? Just let me know if, any, if there's anyone. Okay, that's clear. Aussie dollar, similar scenario. Um, Aussie dollar, technically, I'm still bullish this, okay? But just the Kiwi is just the better play for me. It's just It just looks so much more clearer. Um, so I'm just going to leave for that. No point going over too many pairs. Um, Euro GBP, now Euro GBP is an interesting fucker. Now, this is what the daily, 50% uh, of the daily order black. And at the time, right, I posted the chart, it was down here in the morning. Then it was full on bit bullish candle. Do you guys remember? Massive pin bar. Then it's come down. So this is why I prefer trading the majors. With these exact uh, crosses, they're not as clear, but I can use them as a directional bias. So this could be seen as well. A low made into a key higher time frame level. Then an impulse move up. A break in market structure, okay? Because overall, this is still bullish. If you look at the quarterly charts, and the six month chart, this is very, very bullish still. Um, so this could be seen as what? This down move here could be seen as well. It's just come down to fill the gap in. And if you just zoom in further, it's filled the void in now. So this could be a low in place. But I'm only looking at this for Euro purposes or Euro GBP uh, or cable purposes. I personally believe that bottom is in place. Now, if I'm wrong, then we switch bias. Uh, let me just use this, okay break of this level here i'll be looking to sh short this on the retest and then play for these lows and fill in this void okay that's that's that and then the final pair dollar yen now dollar yen i shorted dollar yen as well i posted this at the time um i shorted it here it's around here at the time and i've, I've exited this most of this position but i'm looking to get back in and i'm still bearish as for i think this is going to be one of the biggest sell-offs okay um so now, I'd like to see it move into here if you can during Asia, but it doesn't bother me. Like I said, do the daily open strategy. I know where it's most probably like to go. Uh, above here, I'd be wrong. If it goes back above here, then I'm probably wrong. Because it's, it's done the move up to take out these stops into this H1 block. Now, there's no reason for them to take it back above there. So, I could say, well, if I'm not bothered about <coughs> entry and the risk to reward is good, I could have short it here, stop loss there, and target there. That's nearly 3R. Okay, or at least from there. So I'm targeting this low here and then the what? The 112.80, okay, to fill this void in. So I'm bearish this market. So ideally, I'd like to move up into there and then sell off, okay? If not, if it doesn't do that and it just collapses from here, use this and then I play a support and resistance play. So if it breaks down here, retest. Same play again. Okay? Either way, if it goes up into that, I'll be looking for weakness. One, if I get that, boom, I'm going to short that fucker. Um, so that's that. Those are the clearest pairs for me at the moment. Let me quickly run over the dollar. Now look at the dollar. What's, what's the dollar doing now? It's still ranging. You know, it's still ranging. Um, just use the in. I'm just. I would just use the inverse play. I'm not too bothered about these high, clean highs yet. That that doesn't bother me because we've already taken the stops out. Now, if it was to get above there once more and then not reject straight away, then I'd I'd say okay, it's gonna c continue pushing higher. But as it stands, I'm I'm bearish this. Okay, as long as we're below this high here, I'm bearish this market, and I'm looking for 
this these loads to get taken okay so one way you can say well let me wait for the breakdown then use this here support becomes resistance play like this and then like that okay someone want to go over gold let's quickly go over gold <coughs> now gold is interesting motherfucker so it's tricky because if I'm correct right this low should hold okay so it's made a low okay let's let's think about it now impulse move wise right impulse move wise is I mean daily is still messy still um still quite choppy but going on to the h4 impulse move from this low to this high okay then a retracement it's made what a higher low it's failed to make a higher high just yet so gold is not really clear to me if I was to, I'm I'm bullish to neutral on this market because it's technically I mean I was expecting this move up to take out this high here which has failed to do so unless it takes out this high cleanly then I'll be interested because if it does that then most likely we're gonna reach for filling this in and these highs here but as it stands I mean I'm not really clear on this okay so I'm gonna close the recording here and then we'll take questions